Now let's add our second core over here. So we're going to go to drawing wall stacks again, selecting our multi core layout. This time, we're actually going to have three cores. Our core height is like what we've worked previously 2.9 and our core width is simply 2.5 2.5 and 2.4 the reason that is is again because it's this 2.6 minus 100 half of the which is half of the wall thickness here and 100 half of the wall thickness here let's click ok and it's a uniform width let's input our wall thicknesses again we've got a door height of 2.4 and what's our door width again it's one meter one meter and one meter now we've got our openings on this uh, wall stack to the south but actually in our model it's to the north so we've got to mirror this about our axis three so let's click yes and you can see now we've got our cores opening in the correct direction. Let's click OK. Make sure that it extends for the full height of the building. And we're going to input it to our grids that we've defined earlier. Right click, press escape. Let's look at 3D. There we go. We've got our two cores. We've got our openings inside. One last thing that we need to check is the sections of those walls. So to do that, you can select any of these walls and you can right click on it. And that takes you to an information page called wall information, which is where you could see anything that's assigned to that analysis element. So if you look at the geometry, you can see the type of this wall. You could see the joints of this wall, which joints is connected to. And if you go to assignments, you can see if that's an opening, um, what section is assigned to this wall, if it has any modifiers, and so on and so on. We'll be covering a few of these items as we're going through the analysis. And yeah, obviously also if you have any loads assigned to that element. What's really important to us right now is to know what section is assigned to this wall. So we could see that this is a wall section 8, which we didn't really define, just ETABS created it because we were using that wall stack modeling option. But we want to give it the correct wall section that we're using. So let's go on. Go on and click on our set display options. Let's go to object assignments, shell assignments and switch on our sections. Now we can start seeing what section was assigned to each of these walls. What we could do in this case is we could go to all story selection and we select them one by one but that might take you a long time since we're only using one wall section right now and we only have those wall elements defined there's a quick way to select them we could go to select select let's go by object type let's select all of our walls click select now we have all those walls selected and you can see here we've got a 441 shells select and we could go to assign shell we could assign a wall section to them, which is our 200-1 FC-40 that we defined, and we click apply. And you'll notice that all of them now have the section that we defined earlier. Let's click save, and to hide this section, let's go back to our display options, object assignments, and switch those sections off. Let's click this one to reset the views, and there we go. See you in the next lecture.